let's uh, let's talk about this interesting little tidbit here. Uh, so this this I, I don't know how many people know about this is a little bit of a skateboarding thing. So Tony Hawk changes the name of a pro problematic trick to honor deaf skater who invented it. Now, a lot of people are upset. They're like, oh, what is this virtue signaling to the max? Like, what what is he, you know, changing the name? So, oh, I don't know. That's really loud. Um, so what he's talking about, it's called a mute grab. OK, and it's where you ollie up. Actually, let me see. There's a picture of it. So this is a picture of someone doing a mute grab. All right. It's where you air when you're in the air, you reach over and you grab the the front end of your board while you're in there. It's called a mute grab. So it was named after this man. Uh, what is his first name? Uh, something. Chris Weddle. All right. And to Tony Hawk says he shared uh, he shared this on, on Thursday. It says the iconic skater explained how the trick was invented by another skater named Chris Wendell in 1981 who was deaf. And due to his impairment, Wendell didn't, or Weddle didn't speak uh, much, so he invented the trick, and it was given the name Mute. When researching the origins of certain tricks, Hawk reached out to Weddle and asked if he was happy with the name. Weddle, although gracious, admitted that he would rather the trick have been called something else, as, as despite being deaf, he was not without speech. So I got to give it up. I got to give it up to Tony Hawk. Thank you for this because, you know, this is this is social justice done right as far as I'm concerned. 21 years ago, they named it the mute air, the mute grab because they were just being tools. You know, they were just like, ah, he doesn't speak like whatever. He's you know, it's the mute grab because he's the one who did it. And it's like I never tried to do a mute. I, I, but I, I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to try to learn the Weddle grab now. Oh, it's the Weddle. It's the Weddle now. I like it. They, they changed it to the Weddle grab. So I, I really, I, I dig it. I like it a lot. I think uh, it's a service to Chris Weddle, who was the first person to do the trick. He called him, did his due diligence, said, what do you think about the mute grab? How do you feel about it? And he's like, well, you know, thank you. I, I, I see that it's named after me. But, you know, he, he said, he's like, I'm deaf, but I'm not without speech. And it's like, oof. Beautiful. Like, like, boom. So the Weddle grab. So the mute grab is no longer. It is now the Weddle grab. So I, I, I just wanted to say thanks, Tony Hawk. That's that's really awesome that you, you've done that. And uh, I, there's quite a long, um, he wrote a, a long thing about it. But um, I'm not going to read it. You can check that out on on uh, Tony Hawk's Instagram, I guess, it's, is where uh, it was posted. So, you know, that's uh, that's my daily ramblings. Thank you for joining me again, Ian. I really appreciate you having here. Thank you, sir.